بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to see once you upload the image like in the previous we have seen how we can upload the images from the local pc and you just simply uh, click on upload if you are using the same folder name and once you do this now you can go and verify the exact path for verification like we can go to opt and then from there unit uh, from there we have to go to unit lab and then add ons we have to select add ons and then inside the kimu so probably you'll find these four files now these are the four specific files you'll find so if you open this folder the images what i'm using are pre configured setup so you don't need to make any changes unlike what you will see on the evng website because if you go to the evng website then uh, then what you have to do is you need to make sure that the folder names should be this ones if you're using 20 dot version then you have to change the name to this one so just slight change the version and inside file name can be any name it doesn't matter so let's say this is actual file name which will be present when you download from the cisco website so here in my case what we did is we we just changed so it's a kind of different name just on hard disk hda but these are the actual names now once you do this now if you want to make a directory now this is how you create the folder same like what we can do from here you just right click and create a new folder new directory this is how you do in terms of gui so if you want to do it via command line you do this way this will create the folder then you upload the image now here it shows uploading the image one by one like you copy using win uh, win scp or uh, filezilla these are the folders what you can use these are the softwares which can be used now again that how to do i i showed you so i copied all the four at once all the four folders okay but again if you are if you are doing via command line this is how you do but basically you don't need to worry this part uh, you need to change the name to this uh, file name because the default name will be this the move option will actually change the rename this file with this name so same way you have to do for vsmart same steps and same steps for v management v manager and you have to do the same steps for others and finally the last step is you need to give this command so if you're using pro license then uh, you have to apply this uh, fixed permission option like in my case let's say i'll copy this exact and i'll go to my server where i already have this so either i can log in here or what i'll do is i'll i'll log in on my secure crt on the server here so i'll try to connect because i can copy paste from here 15.31 so i can quick connect 15.31 and root and the password now this is same command line here so here i can i can just simply go and copy now here you can see it shows you the online check status is valid so if you're using pro license then basically it is going to do some online validation for your evng that's something additional step you have to do uh, these things so once you fix the permissions then now i can go ahead and verify on my browser to check whether i i will be getting the images or not because once you upload the images and once you fix the permissions then i can directly go to my browser so i'll be using a uh, mozilla here and I can type in 192.168.15.31, which is my eNGIP address. So I can sign in and I can I can go to any one of my new labs. So let's say I'm going to say sample lab, create a new lab. And in this lab, once you right click and click on node, then you should be able to see these options. You can see the Viptela, Vbond, VH, Vmanage, Vsmart. If you are able to see these four options, and when you click on this then you'll be able to see the image whatever the image folder name you see that name and you, you can also see the ram capabilities required and depending upon the requirement you can change the number of interfaces like in our sd1 labs i'll be using two interfaces and then click on save so 
So you should be able to add that particular device and also you can start the device and you can run. So similar way, you need to add the other devices as well. Let's say I want to add the VH. So I'm going to add that VH here with the number of interfaces and then click on save. And likewise, I, I should be able to add one more device that is your vManage. Now we manage. So in case if you have multiple images, then it will show you the option here. Now you can see it runs some RAM. You can adjust the RAM if you want, but again, it depends. Uh, it's safe. And you can see the devices here. So once once you are able to drag and drop the devices, if I click on right click and if I start, which is something we'll be doing in our next labs, where we'll be starting the devices and we'll start the command line configuration as well.